Welcome back to the Curiosity Workshop. We are excited to bring XPL Pro to the X-Plane and Arduino environment. In this video, we'll show how to download, install, and use the included sample sketches to verify the system is up and running, along with some basic usage information. Let's get started. XPL Pro is available from our Patreon page, as well as our Discord page and also on GitHub. Links are provided in the description box. You do not have to be a Patreon subscriber to access the files, but you may need to scroll down a bit to find them. There are three files, one of which is the plugin, another is the library for Arduino, and the last is a growing collection of Arduino code samples, one of which we'll be using later in this video. Click on all three to download. The X-Plane plugin will need to be copied to the resource plugin folder of your X-Plane installation. On my setup, X-Plane 12 is located on the root of my C drive. Once the file is in the plugin folder, extract it and you'll have a new folder called XPL Pro where the plugin and associated files will live. Xplane will automatically find the plugin in this location. Next, copy the XPL Pro Arduino zip file to wherever your Arduino sketchbook is and within there, the libraries folder. Now extract the library there and you'll have a new folder within libraries called XPL Pro. XPL Pro Examples provides examples of the different functions available within XPL Pro. The examples provided were developed and tested on an Arduino Mega Board, but should work with other boards with or maybe with minor modifications. The easiest to start with is the XPL Pro Beacon Demo, as no other components are required since it utilizes the built-in LED on the Arduino board. The built-in LED will respond to the status of the beacon light within X-Plane. After the library is installed, launch the Arduino IDE, select the COM port and board type. In this case, my mega board is on COM3. Click Upload to compile and program the mega board with the Beacon Demo Sketch. If you want to test the connection, you can open the serial monitor, set it to 115200 baud, then type within brackets the letter N, capital N, and the board will return a message related to the name it was given by the sample sketch. Be sure to close the serial monitor tool before starting X-Plane as the XPL Pro plugin will be unable to find the board if the serial monitor is tying up the port. After the board is programmed, launch X-Plane. Xplane will search COM ports for XPL Pro devices during the startup sequence. Within the Xplane menu, you can find plugins, then find XPL Pro. Status provides an information window that shows some statistics about the XPL Pro setup. You can see here that one device is detected. We have registered one Xplane data ref and it shows recent activity information. Click on the window to close it. You can disengage the XPL Pro devices from Xplane if you want to make changes to the code on the Arduino board then re-engage them to test the changes without having to shut down and restart X-Plane. For debugging purposes, logging of the activity between X-Plane and the Arduino device can be enabled here for debugging purposes. When it is enabled, the plugin creates a file called xplproserial.log in the installation folder of X-Plane. The plugin also creates a file called xplprodebug.log that logs many things happening within the plugin for debugging purposes. The ultimate test that your installation is working is just to watch it happen. Switching the beacon on and off with an X-Plane should also control the LED on your Arduino board. In the next video, we will look at the structure of an XPL Pro sketch and also use a switch connected to the Arduino board to affect things within X-Plane. We hope to see you there, and as always, if this video was helpful to you, please support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.